So what's up everyone? It is your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. And today we're gonna get into the Be Perfect Carnival, the antidote volume four, I believe this is, of the Be Perfect Carnival collection with Stacey Marie. Um, I remember what I was talking about, the um Haunt, hauntingly glamorous palette. I kept saying Stacey Marie was the girl's name because I kept thinking about like the um carnival palettes. But anyway, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's much bigger than my carnival three because y'all know I had to have this one, but I brought it so you could see it is bigger than that one. It's more like the size of the, the XL Pro one that she came out with, which was her second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Now the third one, y'all should have known. I was getting look at this. It is a rainbow. And look at all these purples and like pinks I got. And then I still got my blues and greens. Now, I feel like there's not enough blues and greens in here. But I guess she made up for it with this palette. Because, you know, this one has more greens. As you can see, I got a whole little nice green section here. Then you got like the little red section going on right here. And you got the neutral section in the middle. So we're going to do two looks where I don't know. I'm most likely going to do a reddish neutral look. And then I'm going to do my cool greenish grungy look. And that's how we're going to do this palette. But this retails for, I want to say, $50. $59. I don't remember. I know Karen got it when it first came out. I wasn't doing it because it's too neutral for me for that price point. But I did see Make Makeup Make Me Up Miss, I believe that's her name. I saw her with this video. She's talking about how the um neutrals were more like plum tone neutrals as opposed to like, you know, I mean plum tone, yeah, neutral shades as opposed to like being just basic browns. And that's the only reason I agreed to or decided to get this palette when it went on sale because it went on sale on black friday for like 39 dollars and i just told y'all it's like 54 or 59 dollars so i was like i can get down with it for like 40 bucks because this is a lot of shades and i know the formula is going to be good it's just more of like i'm not a neutral lover so i was like i you know i'm doing this to see if the formula is going to be the same as the other one and you know i do like the quality of it and i do like the color store she's picked so i ended up picking this up y'all will see it in my black friday cyber monday just because it's tuesday haul video coming up but um right now i'm gonna go off camera you know do some cute little eye looks or whatever i'm gonna start off probably with the red one because y'all know me y'all want to end with my favorite colors which are the green tone so we're gonna start with the red section over here i could do a simple neutral nice taupe eye look if i want to do three looks but it's like i already did three looks with the um Norvina volume 5 pro pigment palette so i'm like i don't feel like doing three more looks so i'm like we go we're gonna, we gonna bring it down to two we're we'll gonna bring it out too. And then I'm gonna take my happy self home because I'm, as y'all know, I filmed at my grandmother's house. I came over here for the weekend. I thought I had to work Sunday. And then I found out I didn't and I didn't have enough palettes to do what I needed to do. So I'll probably go home and film my eyeshadow palette collection video because I want to do a week of eyeshadow palette video content the week um, that I um, do the giveaway because the Black Friday um, video is going up tomorrow on the 13th. I think it's there. Yeah, the 13th of December. And that's when I'm going to post about the Instagram give the um giveaway I'm doing for December. And then that video will stay that will go up to I think almost like New Year's Eve is when I want to end it since I still have to wait for packages to arrive and everything. But anyway, let me go off camera and get my life in order. So we're gonna start off with this red part right here. I might pull a couple of the pinks from here to dust over the top. I don't know. We'll see. And then I'll come back and um we'll talk, okay? Okay. I kind of did this random abstract ass look with um, a whole bunch of the um, warm tones. Y'all know I'm not really a warm tone person, but I must say I, I'm pretty keen on it. So I took this corally shade right here. I took this red shade right here. That's what I'm on out of these. Sorry, this palette's so huge. I, back, back. I took this peachy shade here to put in the crease. And then I put, I put the shade Honey on the lid. And then I'm pretty sure I put the shade Sugar Maple in the inner corner right here. This one. So let's get started with this eye look because y'all I'm tired. I'm telling you. And I ain't been up that long. I, I got up at like I wanna say like 1.30. I'm not even gonna front, but I stayed up to like four in the morning watching um what's that show called? Uh Love is Blind Brazil edition. So the first season was here in America, but the second one was like in Brazil, so I um ended up watching that. Anyway. Let's blend this into the crease here. I'm taking a little bit lower down too because I always do that. Like I put my eyeshadow primer a little bit too low and then I should like put whatever color as an out of V down there. Just so I don't look crazy. I mean I could just wipe it off but it's like I'm like where we're here so I might as well just have a little extra moment there. Now this look I did a little differently because normally I would like y'all know I would have a color to dust over but I didn't even do that. I was like you know we don't have time. We don't have time. Can you tell I'm tired? Like, I'm just over here, like, uh, exhausted. I'm just sitting up watching other YouTubers' videos. Like, I'm gonna go home and watch, like, Hoarders. 
because of y'all didn't know, like, I watch, I watch reality TV. When I do watch TV, which is rare, I usually just watch YouTube because everybody in my house, if I've told you all this before, the hogs the TV. Which basically means Adrian gave over my mom hogs the TV. So I don't get to watch TV. So when I do get to watch TV, I usually just watch Hoarders or My 600 Pound Life, and that's what I watch. And we take the straight spice coral now, and that's the one I put toward the front of the eye. So. I thought it was cool to have this nice coral shade toward the front. And then I put like a mustardy shade toward the middle. That's that shade um, Pretty Peachy. But I used the same brush as I did with this one. So it actually um, got transferred over and it didn't give as much um, pigmentation of this shade. It kind of mixed the two shades together on the other eye. So I'm hoping it does the same thing over here. And if it doesn't, then I'll just have to fix it accordingly. This one isn't performing as well as I was hoping it to. But, you know, given my skin tone, I'm not like super surprised about it maybe i'll use the julius place base instead of um that one it would be a little better but i was just trying to do a more abstract look with the warm tone look just because you know warm tones aren't really my vibe but since they're in the palette i felt like i should accent some of them in addition to the darker tone so that's what we did um we take my clean brush and just dust off all this i didn't cut the crease with this one just because i was like you know I've been cutting the crease to all of the other videos I just did. So, I was like, I wanted a more, like, abstract, artsy, I guess, look for, like, a better term. I'm going to take the shade Honey now and just rub it all over the lid. It's like a nice, wet, full honey eyeshadow color, which explains why it's called, you know, Honey, if you will. Let me add a little bit more over here because I feel like... There's more on one side than the other side. Some more honey there. I've been enjoying watching everybody's um, best products and worst products videos or whatever. I'm currently watching Beauty and the Frizz's video right now. In between, like, doing these outlooks for you all. I watched Ashley's um, I, uh, video in between watching... Um, I'm sorry, in between doing the, um, what is it, the, um, the what, Norvina palette video, because I did three looks with her palette. Now let me do my inner corner shade together. I'm taking the shade Sugar Maple, that's what's in the inner corner. I did a darker inner corner as opposed to a lighter one, because I had light on the lid. I figured, like, the darker inner corner might help with a little bit of depth, so look, uh, I was just winging it, y'all. But yeah, this is the finished eye look for the first look. Now I'm gonna go to my favorite part of the palette, which is the green tone part, along with some of the cool tone, like um, coppery, I mean, topish shades, and see what I can work out with that. I'm hoping to put like the taupe on the outer V, and then like the darker one, and then this darker green, and then work with some of the lighter greens, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet, but um, this is the first finished eye look, so I'm gonna go off camera, you know, like try to take some look to me. I think I'm sexy pictures. Then we're gonna get to the second eye look, and then we'll get into my thoughts on this palette, okay? Okay. Anybody who watches this channel is not surprised about what's going on with all of this right here. I just grabbed all the greens that I could, but I did do something different. I did an inner corner, I did a matte inner corner instead of a shimmery inner corner, so I figured that would be. A little something different as this looks this the majority of it's gonna be the same but it always is um i'm gonna take the shade antidote which is the dark green that's on the lower lash line y'all know i usually do the lower lash line the same time so i already did it off camera so we don't have to worry about doing it on camera toward the end normally i do occasionally i'll do it in the video but there's far and few times i do it in the video because i'm like am i gonna have it in? those things we need to do instead i'm trying to make sure those get done like, you know, the general eye look. I figured you better do that on camera than me rubbing this on the lower last time. It's more like a tealish green shade as opposed to like a true green. To me, it's like more teal, like forest green combination shade, which, you know, I'm not mad about. I'm fine with it. I have crap. I brought it up here. I wasn't supposed to bring it up here. I literally just had did that part, so whatever. Now I'm going to take the shade. What shade did I use? Pretty sure I used the shade Clover. And hand it right here, so this part is gonna look a little different. But once the shimmer gets on top of it, it should look the same as everything else. But I put clover all in the crease here with this made by Melinda Mitchell brush. And y'all, I'm so hot with this sweater on because I'm sitting in front of all these hot ass lights. And then the heat finally started to kick in because it takes forever for the heat to click in here because my mom has it turned 
in certain degrees. On this out, sorry. Can you bring the palette to the hell out of it? I, f I like the color combination of these two colors. But sometimes I feel like they get a little muddied up. But I feel like you can tell the difference, right? At least that's what I'm telling myself. Now I'm going to take the shade Sable and dust it over top of this shade. So that's how they got the extra green component. This look. And this is like it gives extra dimension if you will to the look. Take my cleaning brush and dust off all that. Only thing is I feel like the gradient disappears once I put the shimmer on the lid because I feel like since I brought the shimmer so high you don't really see like one of the greens. But I guess that's okay. Now we're gonna take the shade Venom, just the green shade is all over the lid and start blending on. I didn't cut the crease with glitter glue this time, I was just like I can't be bothered. That's how you know I'm getting tired because I'm doing like my lazy girl. Heck, so the normal way I would do it without the glitter glue just because I'm like, I can't be bothered, I'm tired. But it looks nice all the same. So, but I'm like, excuse me, I took away from the look by me doing it like that. Just build the shadow up a little bit because it's not giving like the intense shimmer I want immediately. So I figure if I build it, then maybe it'll over time if I want. But it's giving pretty good presentation. I just have to build to get it across the entire lid. So there's that. Take my clean blender brush again and dust over this and then dust on the last line again. Now we're going to put our matte shade in the inner corner, and that is the shade Moss. So it's this Moss Green Matte Shade. And I just thought it would be fun to have a matte in the corner since I barely, if ever, do it. I can't remember the last time I did a matte in the corner, so I thought it would be fun. I'm like, that's what we're doing today. So now I'm going to go off camera and give y'all a matching wing and put on a tad bit more mascara my lashes are just like begging pleading like please just stop the mascara because i've done so many looks at this point but you know just gotta do one more time for one more time for pictures and then we should be good so i will be right back with the wing done and then we can talk about this palette okay 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 y'all i took my look at me i think i'm sexy photos i put on my matching eyeliner to the other side i mean who be kidding they don't match but you know you zoomed out so you can't tell they don't match at least i hope you can um <laughs> so about this Carnival for the antidote palette. It's nice for um, a neutral palette. I'm going to mainly be focusing on the greens and the reds. I'm not going to really focus on the neutral part in the middle. When I want a warm tone palette, it will probably be one of the ones I do reach for just because I really like the formula of the Be Perfect shadows, especially the ones they always do with Stacey Marie. But if you're not a neutral lover, I wouldn't recommend that you get the palette. If you're like me, I'm more into color. I wouldn't say get it unless you can get it like 50% off or you can get it on a deal like I got it. It's not that the palette is bad. It's just more of a preference thing. And since I'm not a neutral lover, that's why I waited to get mine on sale. But it's not, it has nothing to do with the quality. Like now, if you're a colorful lover, I say get the Carnival 3 palette. This is actually in um, the giveaway that I'm doing for the holiday. I got a couple of Stacey Marie palettes in there. I got the original first one she came out with, with the highlighters. And then this one is going to be in there. So, um... Yeah, that's the one I recommend though. Number three. Number three is just everything. Y'all know I love colors, but this one is really good too. And since she doesn't have any neutral palettes in the collection of palettes that she made with Be Perfect, it makes sense that she made this palette. I'm anxious to see what palette number five is going to look like because yes, they have already said that she is doing a five palette with Be Perfect. So I'm dying to see what that one's going to look like because I'm like, are we just going to do like a blue green purple moment because i would live for a blue green purple like palette just like somebody make a blue green purple palette okay um unearthly cosmetics i'm looking at you you make it how about that anyway so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye